Hi guys, I hope you're good. In my last video, you saw me taking a trip along the canal from Little Venice to Camden. Well, just over a mile further along the canal is a place documenting the history of London's waterways and ice cream. Welcome to the London Canal Museum. The museum houses a traditional narrowboat, many artefacts and exhibits of our inland waterways and provides a glimpse into the history of our canals and the people who built and worked on them. The museum is located in a former ice warehouse and tells the story of the ice industry as well as the history of the canals. A Victorian ice well occupies a large part of the museum and you can listen to the story of how ice was imported from Norway, transported by sea and canal and stored here in this building built by Carlo Gatti, a Swiss man credited for being the first person to make ice cream available to the general public. A true hero. As well as the ice cream man, there's a wealth of information on the history of our canals, like this replica toll office and this winch that would have been used for moving cargo. There were exhibits on the traditional roses and castles you'd find painted on narrowboats and anything and everything used aboard, and lots of other traditional pottery items too. The museum is set over two floors, and upstairs focuses on London's waterways, with maps and photographs of the capital's canals. Look, that's where I live. Remember I talked about gas holders on my Three Mills history walk? There are some that have been converted into flats just a few minutes from here. Here being Battlebridge Basin on the Regent's Canal, a few minutes from King's Cross Station. The museum has direct access to the basin, where the barges would once have unloaded their ice to the warehouse. Today, the basin is home to a residential moorings of narrowboat dwellers. The Canal Museum has a visitor mooring too. Who thinks I should bring my boat here next time? There's a big map of London's waterways. Little Venice, where I went on my boat trip, Battlebridge Basin, where the museum is. Three Mills and the Bowback Rivers, where my boat lives. They've got these cool little models showing all the different types of boat, and these showing the different types of cargo the boats would carry. Chocolate, wheat, paper, sheep dip, looks like someone's eaten all the fruit. Human and animal waste would also have been transported by barge. Which reminds me, even the toilets had a canal theme. Before boats were motorised, horses would be used to tow them along the canals, hence the term towpath. Lucky perhaps for the horses, they were later replaced with engines. There were a number of interactive exhibits as well, including how lock chambers and gates work.
There was a book on useful boat knots that you could try your hand at. Please excuse my awful attempt. I think, though, the star of the show has to be Coronas, the old narrowboat buddy that once accompanied motorboat Corona. Built in London in 1935 by Harland and Wolfe, she would have carried all types of cargo between London and Birmingham. For all the people now who say they could never live on a narrow boat, this is what the accommodation was like for boat people back in the day. Whole families would live in these boatmen's cabins and every inch of space was utilised. Do you think you could have survived life on the water back then? I would have said yes until I had a go on this bed. Uncomfortable is an understatement. I'll leave you with a view from the helmsman's position where I'm definitely much more comfortable. Leave me some recommendations in the comments on other canal museums worth visiting. But for now, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you all again very, very soon.